Hello, Cracker here and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to create WooCommerce order export for Excel using WP All Export. With WP All Export, you can export a variety of file formats, including Microsoft's popular spreadsheet program, Excel. Now the plugin supports both the .xls and .xlsx file format. That is the Excel file format. And it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you just how to do that. Before we start, if you would like to follow along, you can create a demo install at wpallimport.com slash try. Go down here and choose WooCommerce Store and create a sandbox. That is gonna create a demo install with the WP All Import installed. As you can see here, the install is ready to go. If you're using a sandbox, you'll notice that the orders have been populated with dummy data. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've gone ahead to change the date in some of the orders. To start the export, go to All Exports, and then in the dropdown, select WooCommerce Orders. By default, all the orders are selected and ready to be exported. But often you want to export only a subset of your orders. For example, you may want to export orders from a specific country, orders from a specific product or date ranges, or orders from probably a specific client. WP All Export lets you decide exactly which WooCommerce orders to export thanks to a simple but powerful filter tool. To set the filter, click here and then under elements, you select the element that you want to use as a filter rule. In my own case, I'm going to select the order date. I'm going to select the rule. Now, if you're not sure what to do, there are some tips here on how to set up the rules, okay? And in each of these categories, there are tips here on how to configure this rule. So in this case, I'm going to select if the date is newer than September, which is 9th, 1st, okay, 2021. I'm going to add a rule, okay? And then I'm going to add another rule still date i'm going to select older than september 13 2021 so um what i'm saying here is i want to select orders that are newer than the first of september 2021 and orders that are older than September 13, 2021. Okay, so this is a very simple example. That's not all. You can create more complex filters by combining rules. For instance, in addition to the date range, if you want to select all orders with order totals between $25 and $50, we can do that by going to price. And then we're going to say greater than $20. Let's make that 25. I'm going to add. And then we're going to select price. Less than $50. So we see we have a total of seven orders that match this rule. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to click the customize export file button. Here we are presented with a drag and drop interface. Now, this is the format in which the order file will be exported. To understand that, let's quickly take a preview. Now, you can see the order ID, the order key, and the title. So let's dismiss that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to click here, delete, click here, delete, click here, and delete. I want to add my own columns. On the right of the screen, we have the available data panel. Now, this allows you to select fields from many other related tables, including order, customers, items, now a lot of, a whole lot of this, okay? So you can select fields and populate this drag and drop interface with the fields you select here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is to select the customers data. Now what I want is the first name, I'm gonna drag and drop here. And then the next thing I want is the order details. So the first thing I wanna do is the order ID, I want the order date, and I want the order total. There are lots of fields here you could populate. Fields from WooCommerce plugins or add-ons will appear in this panel. Now let's take a preview. All right, the fields are properly presented here. I'm gonna dismiss that. If you notice, what we have is just the billing first name, okay? Now, if I try to bring, maybe I want the first and the, and the last name, okay? And I try to bring it here, 
okay let's move that here you'll notice that what you have is the first name and the second name here it doesn't look natural it doesn't look okay now despite the ease of use of the drag and drop interface it is much more powerful than it appears for example you can combine two fields into one to do that i want to combine the first and the last name now let's click add field and then i'm going to call it customer name okay i'm going to check custom export field okay and then it says you can drag and drop fields from available data add static text and use PHP function. So I'm going to go to customer and then I'm going to go to first name, drop it there. I'm going to go to last name, drop it there. And I'm just going to click save. Oh, okay. It's asking for name. So I'm going to call this customer name. All right. So we have the field here, customer name. So I'm going to move it all the way to the end here. And then I'm going to delete this. And when we preview, you're going to see the customer name, but there's a problem. So let's go back in and then we're going to add a space there. Okay. I'm going to click save here and then preview. And you see that is resolved as simple as ABC. Now this is just one form of customization. The add field to export form also has a PHP function editor that allows you to create more sophisticated custom fields, including the use of conditional logic, PHP operators, and calculation. But that is beyond the scope of this video. We're going to cover it in the next video where we're going to deal with advanced order export for WooCommerce. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will not miss that video. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. The next step is to change the export type here you can choose your export types you have spreadsheet you have feed but we are going to be taking a look at the spreadsheet all right so by default the csv file is selected but you can change that to xls or xlsx so i'm just going to choose this if you would like to save these settings as a template maybe you want to use it the exact same settings some other time you can do that but let's continue we're almost done the next thing we're going to take a look at is the scheduling options so let's click here to expand to schedule an Excel report, we're going to select automatic scheduling option. Okay. And then let's say we want to run this export every week on a Tuesday and we want to run it at, let's say, 2 a.m. Chicago time. Okay. Now we understand that many users schedule order export to integrate their order data with other systems. To support this, WP All Export is fully compatible with Zapier. This means you can automatically trigger an action in Zapier every time your order export runs. For example, you can have Zapier copy your Excel file to another location for automatic processing by an external system. We're going to cover this in a detailed advanced order export for WooCommerce video. So remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So we're done here. To finish the Excel export, you're going to come down here and click the confirm and run export button right here. Optionally, you can decide to rename your export. Okay. All right, let's do that. And we are done. It is that simple. So you can click here to download your Excel file. So let me just click that. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to open it to see. As you can see, we have successfully exported a WooCommerce order to an Excel spreadsheet. WP All Export can work with its sister plugin, WP All Import, to migrate data from one WordPress site to another. This includes migrating data between WooCommerce stores. To prepare an export for migration, instead of clicking this, we're going to click the bundle button instead. This will download a zip file that will contain all of the information that WP All Import needs to automatically configure the data import on your new site. This means that migrating orders from one WooCommerce store to another is as simple as use the bundle download option to export your orders from the source site, import your orders on your target site with WP All Import using the bundle zip file as your data source. If you're working with a sandbox, you can see the WP Import sister plugin right here. In addition to exporting WooCommerce orders, this plugin can also export customers, product, coupons, reviews, additional fields from WooCommerce add-ons and extensions, and any other type of WordPress information, including posts, pages, taxonomies, comments, users, custom fields of any kind. In every case, the process and screens are similar. If you would like to know more about this amazing plugin, 
go to wpallimport.com or click the link in the description. Have a great day. I'll see you some other time.